It really feels like I can never die Yeah, she broke my heart, but I survived They've been getting scared and switching sides Tell me now I'm really down to Hey fam, it's me, Jacob, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing great, and I am very excited to bring you guys this video today. But yeah, in this video, I am going to show you guys what I've been wearing around the winter season. Just just like my favorite pieces during you know like the winter times and what i've been wearing recently but yeah it's going to be a really chatty video since i do have a lot of pieces to go through and you know i've been getting a lot of stuff over the course of a couple months so i'm just really excited to show you guys like somewhat of like my winter essentials but if you guys like what you guys are seeing right now please consider liking and subscribing onto the channel it really helps me out a lot and it also helps the channel out tremendously whenever it comes to exposure and getting new audiences so with that being said let's hop right into the video and this is what i've been wearing in the winter slash my winter essentials all right starting top to bottom we have a basic black hoodie and this is the and this is the minimal everyday hoodie this is in their black color and i've been wearing it a lot it has somewhat of like a vintage wash now since i do wear this like a crap ton this is my go-to hoodie since it's just super basic it bunches up at the bottom so it gives you that boxy look i just really like the overall design of the hoodie i actually really dig the fact that it doesn't have any strings it really gives you that like yeezy aesthetic but yeah it's just a really nice versatile like minimalistic hoodie for your like everyday wear as it's intended to be this is in a size large and i picked it up for my first minimal haul but yeah i'm really happy to have this in my wardrobe it's just something that just works with a lot of stuff in my closet so yeah minimal everyday hoodie Next up, we have the Boohoo Man faux leather jacket. This is a cropped kind of leather jacket. It gives you that crop kind of aesthetic. And at the same time, this gives me like Balenciaga vibes. I know Balenciaga did the same type of like moto jacket. So I'm pretty sure it's just a copy from that. For an affordable alternative, this does a really good job of the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for. It's just something really nice. And the quality is, you know, good enough just to wear. Yeah, I actually been really loving this jacket i got this back whenever i was filming my boohoo man haul yeah i've been really liking it ever since and i've been wearing this out like a lot i did not expect me to like this piece that much but whenever it comes to like the winter time i find myself wearing it more and more so yeah i got this in a size large but if it's still available i suggest you guys go like a size or two up because it is like kind of like a cropped fit so if you guys want like that like leather jacket feeling without the croppedness just go like two size up for the next piece up i have my h&m oversized bomber jacket and this is my, one of my most recent purchases this is kind of like the go-to outerwear pieces that i pick out whenever i want to go out really fast because it's just super comfortable it does its job whenever it comes to keeping you warm it really looks good no matter what you're wearing like either on the bottom or what you're layering it with and i think it's just perfect to just have one bomber jacket in your wardrobe just because you're gonna have those times where you just want something really simple to put on but yeah this is the h&m oversized bomber jacket this is in a large and i did go one size ups for that oversizedness factor and in my opinion i really like how it looks on me finally for the top we do have a cardigan this is the first cardigan in my whole wardrobe and i honestly feel like some people would probably hate me for hanging my cardigan up i just don't really have anywhere to fold them yeah this is the zebra cardigan from minimal i really love this cardigan it's so comfortable and i also have somewhat of a oversized fitment i really love like the beige color and the black color they just go so well together and the fitment on it is really nice i wish i could have gone like a size down since they do it fit me a little bit oversized but with the size that i got i'm actually really happy with with that being said i got the cardigan in a medium because whenever i was was, you know shopping on there i was looking at the model and six one and wear a medium so you know i would have thought it would be been a little bit bigger on me but i didn't know it was going to be this big getting back on track i really like this cardigan it's just something that i've been really vibing with lately and it's just so something that's been really nice to have whenever it comes to versatility around the wardrobe oh so, yeah it's just something to spice up my outfit a little bit and you know something that is there for me to like again keep warm in the winter but yeah moving towards the bottom 
bottom we have four items to go through and I'm really excited to show you guys what all I picked all right for the first one I have the H&M women's just basic sweatpants these are their essential sweatpants these are in the black color I really love what they're doing in the women's section at H&M whenever it comes to the basics it's just something that you really cannot pass on I really love the fitment of the sweatpants whenever it comes to you know how it fits on me I just really like that and another thing that the H&M women's sweatpants has that the men's don't is at the cuff here they do have like a little bungee kind of like uh spandex material that gives you like a little like scruffle down here i really love that and for you know for the men's section they just have like a little cuff down here just like the hoodie in my opinion i do prefer the little scruffling down here more just from an aesthetic point of view this is something that i've been more interested in and that's where the h&m women's sweatpants really come in handy because i really love the aesthetic on it and i just really like how it fits on me and just the color just something really basic for my wardrobe and you know it's for like again everyday use next to that we do have a pair of pants from minimal and this is their snap western pants i've been loving these pants since i got them these are probably one of my favorite purses of the year just because they look so nice and all the details on it just really nice they do have double panel at the thigh with some extra button details on the side and they also come with buttons down at the cuff and with zippers so like a whole bunch of details they do include like a little bit of like a um, like a denim belt but i kind of took it off but no these are honestly one of my favorite pants to wear as of late because they're just so nice and they really fit into like one of my newer aesthetic that i found me really liking is some of that like grungy kind of like i just don't know how to describe it but these pants go really well with it you guys seen some of my more recent instagram posts i'm sorry but shameless plug you guys see that i do wear these pants a lot and i do had a really good time whenever i look at you know like pieces to match with the pants so it's just a win-win overall i just really love how the pants look on me and how they just look by himself they are a little bit long but but then again i've come to terms with it and i really don't mind it at the end of the day there's just a really nice pants these these are a size 30 32 i believe and yeah which is really nice this is the minimal snap western pant all right guys next up you guys probably already seen this from a mile away because i always feature this piece this pant slash piece every single time i make like a pickup or an essential kind of like haul kind of video it's just something that i've been really loving since the beginning of 2021 and i'm really glad that i'm bringing this into 2022 and those are my gap straight cut crop jeans holy shit bro i really really like these jeans these have been the top of my like my pants list since my first pair which is the blue gap straight cut crop denim and since i got the black wash or since gap came out with the black wash i have honestly loved just what they're doing with uh, this kind of like silhouette of a pant i just really like how it looks on me i just really love how it really gives off like that really nice like bad aesthetic the fitment is re low-key really nice and yeah the pants are not for everybody but dude i'm just obsessed with these jeans you know this is in a 30 30 yeah, these are just an amazing pair of jeans really comfortable as well and i cannot stop speaking highly about these jeans and for the last pair of pants i do have another pair of gap straight cut crop denim this is the beige color and i just got this literally yesterday i tried it on it just looks really nice and i really love just what they're doing with you know these kind of like jeans because it's just really nice hopefully gap can do more washes like a gray wash or they can put some distressing in it i'm just really looking forward to it and excited for this silhouette itself and it's just something that i've been really vibing with and with this cream color i can really make some fire ass fit with them but yeah this is the gap straight cut crop jeans the same size and waist from before and yeah this is in the beige color and and even though i haven't had the most chance to wear this out since this is basically just like a day old i've been trying a lot of outfits with them and all the outfits i've been wearing i would absolutely fell in love with this is another keeper in my opinion all right moving towards the footwear section i do have four shoes to go through and let's talk about the first one which is the vans old school 
with the Velcro strap. This is in like the off-white kind of like vintage colorway. This is like their only white version available whenever it comes to the vintage kind of like Velcro strap looking silhouette. And in my opinion, they did a really good job executing the color because it really gives off that like vintage aesthetic. And I really love how it looks on feet and I really love the aesthetic that it gives off. I just honestly really like the Velcro in general. It's just a really nice touch from, you know, having shoelaces and it's just something that I've been really vibing with. These are just something that I haven't had the chance to wear a lot since, you know, Vans are mostly for the summer, but I do wear this now and again in the winter and I would really like my outfit whenever I put them on. So yeah, these are just something to complete my outfit with and it's just, you know, something that I've been really happy having in my wardrobe. It's really nice color overall and this is in a size nine and a half US. So yeah, these are the Vans old school with Velcros. Next up, we do have another item that I got recently and these are the Ultra Boost 21 in the black slash, you know, white colorway, white being the boost. These are just something that I picked up to, you know, have something to grab really fast and go, especially on like errand runs. I would really love wearing these. I've been wearing these the whole day yesterday and the whole day today whenever I'm going out and doing, you know, my business and they just are really comfortable and I really do not feel any fatigue whenever it comes to, you know, walking a lot or just standing around. There's just something that are reliable and that are here whenever I need something to slip on really fast. Before that, my everyday sneaker was the Yeezy Sesame and it's just, and it's just a little bit beat in my opinion. So having a pair of Ultra Boost 21, just, you know, just have something new and some like fresh boost really helps me, you know, go on my day and it's just really comfortable to be around in. Yeah, these are basically retiring since they are really beat. So yeah, whenever I bought these, I was looking for a new pair of gym shoes, something that I can go on the treadmill for a while and not be as tired as I would be if I was wearing like, you know, my Yeezy or, or you know, like just those kind of shoes. So these are just really nice for, you know, walking and just working out shoes basically. So these are my new beater sneakers. Just really happy to have them. Just something really comfortable. And I believe these are a size nine and a half US, but I did bought these on Amazon in the women's aisle. So it was a size 11 in women's. And third on the list, we do have a pair of boots. These are the ASOS combat style boot. I know what I said about this in my birthday haul. I said I might, you know, get rid of them, but they did grew on me a little bit and I've been really loving my outfits with these lately. Still not a big fan of how straight they look from, you know, the top because they do look really straight and just, you know, it's not really for me, but whenever I put them on, I really don't notice it and I really have been enjoying you know my outfits with these lately so i'm thinking that it's a win but no hopefully one day i can get the balenciaga bulldozer boot and then it's probably it's time for these boots to say their goodbyes but until then because it's going to be a long ass time away these have served their purpose they are great they look really nice and you know i'm just really vibing with them so these boots are also a size nine us and i feel like staying true to size is really good whenever it comes to boots they are a little bit uncomfortable at times but you know nothing too bad and most of the time they're really walkable in so asos combat high calf boot and lastly we have one big banger for the shoe section and it's something that i bought in november and it didn't really get here until like last week it is such a banger i'm pretty sure you guys can see a little bit of the sole here and it's just something that i've been wanting for a while and this was initially my birthday present for, to myself but at the same time it took so long that it basically just combined my birthday christmas and new year's all together and that is the Balenciaga Tract V1 in the black and red colorway. Holy shit. Like, just holy shit. These have been one of my favorite sneaker color-wise and just silhouette-wise since I do have the white pair. And I really wanted to invest in another one, so that's where I got these. And these are so beautiful in my opinion just the red really pops with the like the black and the cream like outsole just something that i've been really vibing with lately and and yeah i really love wearing this with like kind of like a black aesthetic kind of outfit and having that red pops just is a really nice touch to the outfit and i really cannot 
stress enough about the sneaker just the silhouette is just amazing i know it's not for everyone but holy shit you know but yeah the balenciaga track is also a really good shoe but i'm rambling a lot but these are one of my favorite purchase of the year i was really happy that i had a chance to purchase this type of shoe and i'm really happy that these are going to my 2022 wardrobe excited <laughs> I'm just really excited when talking about them. And lastly, we do have the accessory list. And we only have one thing for the accessories, but that is completely okay. And that thing is the Bershka Flow Leather Backpack. I got this as a gift from my partner and it's just really nice. And it's just, just a really nice backpack. It's really essential. And it's good for just to have it for like everyday use. Like I could put my wallet in here, like you know, my AirPods in here, my camera on the other side just something really versatile and just something you can put literally everything in and you can be ready for your day i just really love the aesthetic that is giving off and as you guys can see here on the top they do have a chain kind of like detail piece which is a really nice touch in my opinion this bag is just one of my favorite favorite accessory in my whole wardrobe so so yeah really happy about these and you know big thanks to my girlfriend for getting me this this is something really nice but yeah that is going to conclude the list that is a lot of stuff you know and that's just something that i never thought that i would get a chance to review this much stuff because whenever i started this channel i really didn't have much but now that i have the opportunity to get all this stuff i'm just really humbled by it and i wouldn't be here without you know your support and with you carrying me on along the way so all of this all of this right here that you guys see all all the videos that i've been making throughout 2021 2022 and even 2020 all, like all of it wouldn't happen without the support of you know my viewers my subscribers so i would like to say big thank you for making the last year one of my favorite year to live in so kind of deep but, but yeah that's gonna be it for the video in the comments tell me what you guys think of all the pieces that i showed you today if you guys liked it if you guys didn't if you guys think it's whack you know i would love to see your opinion down there and if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a like down below if you guys didn't please dislike it i am fine either way i would love to hear the feedback from the like and dislike ratio even though fucking youtube took it off it's fine I can still see it. Subscribe if you guys haven't because I have so much more content coming out your way. And I know that you guys don't want to miss out on it. And with that being said, I am going to leave you guys now. Thank you so much for 2021. And let's move on to 2022, which will be better, bigger, and just more quality. Peace out, guys.